Hello? 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 <laughs> Good afternoon, welcome. At this time, I call to order Muskogee Creek National Council emergency session, November 4th, 2021. Time is 1 p.m. This time, I'd like to ask um, Representative Joyce Deer to do the invocation, please. Representative Deer, are you on? Representative Crawford, would you do the invocation, please? Thank you, Speaker. Pray with me, please. Dear Lord Jesus, we just thank you for another beautiful day. We thank you for allowing us to come together to conduct business for our nation. I pray that you guide us and lead us in the right direction, that we may make the right choices for our nation. And I pray again for our people that are affected by this COVID. I pray that you put your healing hand on them. Again, I thank you for allowing us to come together. I ask this in your most precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Representative Crawford. <clears throat> Roll call, National Council Secretary, Alicia Strobel. Speaker Randall Hicks. President. Mary Crawford. President. Louis Deer. Patrick Freeman. Here. Joseph Hicks. Here. Robert Huff. Present. <clears throat> oh, James Jennings is excused. Adam Jones. Here. William Lowe. Here. Anna Marshall. Here. Charles McHenry. Here. Thomasine Yehola Osborne. Present. Daryl Proctor. Here. Mark Randolph. Present. Travis Scott. Here. Lucian Tiger. Present. Joyce Deer. So you have 14 present and two absent. 14 present, two absent constitutes quorum. All business conducted will be official. Veto message, NCA 21-114. The law of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending MCNCA Title 19, subsection 1-102, 3-108, 6-101, 4-102, 6-102, 8 8 8-108, 8-208, 8-201, 8-202, 10-103, 10-105, 10-108, 10-109, 10-109, 10-109, 10-109, and 10-111. Entitled General Elections, Dissemination of Information, Appearance of Candidate's Name, Absentee Ballot Affidavit, Time for Issuing List for Certificates, Law enforcement to, to provide security for ballot boxes, time for filing contest and re, or recount, petition for fraud or regulatory request for absent, absentee ballots, transmittal of ballot to voter, return of ballots, handling of return absentee ballots, examination of signatures, removal of outer envelope and counting procedures. This was returned as a veto on October 29, 2021. Speaker, Speaker, make a motion to let veto stand. Uh, motion made by Representative Huff to let the veto stand. Do I have a second? Second. We'll love second. Second. Seconded by Representative Lowe. Discussion. Discussion. Bigger, could the best be read, please? And 
just a second. Sure. <laughs> A message of the principal chief returning NCA 21-114 to the National Council as a veto with objections. In accordance with section six of article six of the Constitution of Muscogee Creek Nation, I, David W. Hill, principal chief of the Muscogee Creek Nation, do hereby return bill NCA 21-114 entitled, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending MCNCA title 19, subsections 1, 102, 3, 108, 6101, 7303, 8106, 8108, 8201, 8209, 10102, 10103, 10105, 10108, 10109, 10111, entitled General Elections, Dissemination of Information, Appearance of Candidate's Name, Absentee Ballot Affidavit, Time for Issuing List or Certificates, Light horsemen to provide security for ballot boxes, time for filing contest, contest or recount, petition for fraud or irregularities, request for absentee ballot, transmittal of ballot to voter, return of ballots, handling of returned absentee ballot, examination of signatures, removal of outer envelope and counting procedures as a veto in its entirety with the following objections. Objections, Bill NCA 21-114 was enacted by the National Council on October 18, 2021 to set the general election date to December 11, 2021 and to enact several drastic amendments to the election code and to the absentee ballot collection and counting procedure even though the nation is in the middle of an ongoing election. Also, the bill was enacted without consultation or coordination with the election board and while an election protest case was pending before the nation's Supreme Court with no known outcome. Even though the bill was intended to address the problems with absentee ballots being returned in time to be counted, I believe that in the future, legislation being considered involving a critical component of our nation's government, like our elections, should be carefully drafted and with appropriate discussions and coordination with the constitutional entity delegated with the responsibility for conducting our elections, the nation's election board. On October 25, 2021, I signed into law NCA 21-116 which I believe is far more sensible approach to the ongoing problems with slow delivery by the U.S. Postal Service by extending the general election one week to November 13, 2021 and appropriating funds so the election board may have options to expedite the sending out and receiving of absentee ballots. This legislation was enacted after consultation with the election board. The nation's 2020 one general election date is now set by law, so the date proposed in 21-114 is in conflict with the law with that law and should be considered moot. For the reasons outlined above, NCA 21-114 is hereby returned as a veto. Thank you, Ms. Stroll. Any other discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Robert Hutt? Yes. James Jennings? Oh, sorry. Adam Jones? Adam Jones? William Lowe? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomas Eniola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Lucian Tiger? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. Alicia, I apologize. I'm on the line. This is Joyce. Okay. Okay. Joyce Deer? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, zero against. 14 in favor, zero against. That motion passes. Order of business, TR 21-157, a travel resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation confirming the nomination of Shannon Prescott to serve as the chief judge for the district trial court of the Muscogee Creek Nation. Sponsors, sponsor, Mark Randolph. Speaker, motion to adopt. Motion made by Representative Mark Randolph to adopt TR-21-157. Do I have a second? Second. 
Seconded by Representative McHenry. Discussion? Speaker, do we have Ms. Prescott on the line? Uh, I am on. Sir, she I is. Am on. Give her some time, please. I'm sorry, Representative Randolph, go ahead. I just said, can we give her some time, please? Yes, sir. Ms. Prescott? Thank you. Of course, I'm familiar with most everyone, um, but if I'm not, I, I'll just give you a little bit of my background. I've had, right now, it's five years of judicial experience, um, which the requirement was four years. I've been on the bench here at Creek Nation for the last two years, serving as the Family Law Division judge. Um, I've worked for the nation in some capacity for nearly 22 years, so I've committed my career to serving my nation. Uh, my intent is to continue to serve our nation as you do. Um, my Focus at this point is quite honestly, we got to turn some things around here at the court. We need to start focusing on getting criminal dockets. I've already started some of that process to assist uh, Judge Bigler uh, doing jail reviews. I really think we need to push hard right now. This is the time to show what we what we got and show them what we got. And I feel like this is a good time for me to step into these shoes. Um, I work nearly every day here, although at this position was meant to be part time. I come in, I dedicate my time because I have a vested interest in success of not only our court, but our nation. Um, the Supreme Court ruling gave us something that we should have had recognized many, many decades ago, but yet here we are trying to push forward and um, be successful. And so I just appreciate the opportunity. I did provide a, um, my cover letter, a resume, and also some statistics from the court that I'm not sure um, all of you have seen, but the increase is astronomical. We're looking at a 4,000% increase in criminal cases. There is no way extra dockets are gonna take care of this problem. I'm ready to um, put in a court administrator to help me organize dockets. We're gonna start utilizing other judges on criminal dockets. These cases must move forward. Um, I, I meet quite frequently with the AG's office to assist them, even though I'm not the criminal judge, I'm trying to improve our court system. Um, this time I try to stay in my lane, of course, out of respect for the other judges, but I'm here in this community full time. So as much as I can do to put forth uh, to make it successful, I'm ready and willing to do. So if there's any questions, um, like I said, my cover letter was provided along with my resume and um, I am a citizen. So like I said, I, this is so important to me to continue to be a part of this court system. Thank you, Mr. Prescott. Council, you have any questions for Ms. Prescott? Hearing none, roll call vote. This will require two thirds vote. Mark Randolph? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Lucian Tiger? No. Mary Crawford? No. Joyce Deer? No. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Joseph Hicks? No. Robert Huft? No. Adam Jones? Adam Jones? No. William Lowe? No. Anna Marshall? No. Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomasine Yehola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? No. Speaker, you have five in favor, nine against. Five in favor, nine against. That motion fails. NCA 21-130, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation, amending MCNCA Title 19, subsection 2-117, entitled Compensation of Inspectors, Judges, Clerks, and Precinct Workers. Sponsors, Daryl Proctor. Speaker Daryl Proctor, motion to adopt. Motion made by second speaker Daryl Proctor to adopt NCA 21130. Do I have a second? Second. Second, second by Representative Hicks. 
Discussion? Speaker, if we have uh, someone on the election board to uh, speak on this, give them time. Okay. Uh, Ms. Ms. Tiger, would you uh, like to speak on this or? Speaker, uh, it's Salina, Salina Jane Dornan. Good, good afternoon. Salina, you, you can speak on this if you'd like. Yes, uh, the purpose of the legislation basically is uh, as of Monday, we were about 20 precinct workers short. Um, we have been actually having difficulty getting precinct workers, uh, but with the change and I guess probably getting so close to the holidays, we've had a lot of them drop out. And in the past, we had looked at possibly uh, using employees, but because the way that the legislation was worded, it would not allow us um, to do that because it said they shall be paid a stipend. And uh, so what we're wanting to do is to add um, where they can have flex time like they do with the festival and uh, so that they could work. And we've had several that had were willing to do that, uh, but because we couldn't pay them obviously. Um, so that was the purpose of the legislation. And we really are, we're like right on the cusp of having to do training. We start training tomorrow night and uh, we really do need to get uh, some volunteers in place. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dorn. Council, you have any questions or discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Lucian Tiger? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Robert Haft? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. William Lowe? Yes. Anna Marshall? No. Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomasine Yehola Osborne? Yes. Speaker, we have 13 in favor, one against. 13 in favor, one against. That motion passes. NCA 21-131, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation appropriating incentive funds to Muscogee Creek Nation travel employees for fiscal year 2022. Sponsors, Lucian Tiger, third. Speaker, motion to adopt. Motion made by Representative Lucian Tiger III to adopt NCA 21-131. Do I have a second? Robert Huff. Second. Second by Representative Huff. Discussion? Thank you, Speaker. Uh, basically, legislation speaks for itself. The only question that I do have in regards to legislation, uh, Chief, if he's on the line, is after this passes, if it does pass, when will it be uh, given to the citizens. There's no date in the legislation. No time frame. Uh, Thank you, Speaker. Chief Yes. Uh, I'll just deal with Clay and we'll try to do it as soon as possible. We just want to make sure it's going to pass uh, today. But I'll get with uh, I'll get with Clay. Unless Clay's on the line, he may be able to answer that. Clay Darnell? Yes, sir. Um, We'll, we'll do exactly as instructed. We'll work to get this done as, as soon as possible if it's approved by the council. Thank you, Mr. Darnell. Representative Tiger. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Mr. Darnell. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Representative Tiger. Any other discussion? Speaker. Representative Hicks. Yes. Hey, I've got a question on this. The um, incentive, is this also going to uh, include our contract workers in the health field because they are just as much tribal workers, I feel, as the rest of uh, Creek Nation, all the other workers. Thank you, Representative Hicks. Chief Hill? Uh, it's, it's always been in the past that to be full time employees or part time. Uh, as far as I know, no contractors uh, have ever received this. Is there not a way that we can add them to this? Because in all actuality, these contract workers in the health field, they're the ones who 
bring in a lot of money for our tribe besides the casinos. And to me, I just feel that these people deserve to be rewarded just like any other employee with the tribe. Uh, Representative Hicks, we can look at that, but we also have to look at what their contract states because uh, they have different benefits than what the full-time and part-time employees have. We can look at that. I'll get with HR and uh, health, um, Mr. Terry, and we can we can review it. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Representative Hicks. Any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Uh, who was that? I'm sorry. Pardon me. The, the, this is uh, Clay, and I was going to offer uh, where the funds were available from, but I apologize for interrupting. Oh, you're Wait. fine. Go ahead, funding source. Funds are available uh, for this supplemental appropriation from the Liquor and Beverage Tax Fund. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Lucian Tiger. Yes. Mary Crawford. Yeah. Louis Deer. Yes. Patrick Freeman. Yes. Joseph Hicks. Yes. Robert Huft. Yes. Adam Jones. Yes. William Lowe. Yes. Anna Marshall. Yes. Charles McHenry. Yes. Thomasina Hola Osborne. Yes. Daryl Proctor. Yes. Mark Randolph. Yeah. Travis Scott. Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, zero against. 14 in favor, zero against. That motion passes. NCA 21-132, a law of Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of the coronavirus relief funding for COVID-19 related funding, sponsored Robert Huff. Motion adopt. Motion made by our representative Rubber Huff to adopt NCA 21-132. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Lucian. Representative Tiger. Discussion. Yeah, speaker is Tara Branson on the line. Uh, Ms. Branson. Yes, sir. I'm here. Yes. She is online. Uh, Go ahead, Ms. Branson. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Council, for considering the legislation today. Um, yeah, I know uh, you may not have had a lot of time to review it, but wanted to let you know that the requests that are being made today are um, part of the larger plan um, that we deployed in early 2021. And as legislation changed through 2021, some of those projects are um, incomplete or we've gotten to a point where uh, we can no longer move forward um, just with the way the legislation was written, I believe in, in earlier this year. So um, all the requests are existing um, budgetary requests that uh, we're trying to move forward. Uh, the most important today, however, is the um, information technology budget request. Uh, there are a number of subscriptions and services that we are utilizing to support the workforce at the nation and to protect the security of the network. And um, that's, a, that's a primary concern for us. Those are beginning to expire because they're annual licenses. And so we wanted to bring this before you um, because it is an urgent need for the network security and the services that the IT office provides, but also in recognition that there are some ongoing projects that we are um, trying to complete before the funds expire at the end of December. Um, and I'm happy to answer any specific questions if uh, those exist or if there are or things that I can respond to, I'm happy to do that. Council, is there any questions? Speaker Lucian. Go ahead, Representative Tiger. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, Ms. Branson Thomas, with that being said, as I'm looking at the uh, budget that was sent over with these expenditures, 
would it be uh, would it hinder any of these other departments if we send everything else through the committee process next week and struck struck everything except for the IT port portion of this? Uh, in my discussions with the chief of staff, uh, the, the top priority was the information technology budget. I do think we're in a position where um, we could hold off um, as long as we're able to move forward, uh, hopefully this month, so we can complete some of those other items. Do you feel? Yes, Representative I'm, uh, I'm fine with that. I think the most important thing is uh, information technology. And if we want to uh, run the rest of them through the, through the committee, I'm fine with that. Uh, I think Terry mentioned it's uh, till December we have. So uh, I'm fine with that if that's the wish of the council. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, um, Ms. Branson Thomas. I appreciate it. Thank you, Representative Tyre. Now, if this goes back to the committee or if, it, if we just pull the IT out and we send the others back to the committees, it would have to be under other business because the deadline date has already passed as far as submitting legislation for the committees. Just keep that in mind. And also, Ms. Branson, you mentioned that the corona or the COVID yeah, the COVID-19 funding is, is going to expire in December. Statutorily, that's the current date. There are proposals from both the House and the Senate to extend that deadline. And if um, the federal government can come to a budget deal, we anticipate that there will be another extension. Thank you. Speaker Lucian. Thank you, Speaker. Yes, sir, I do understand that and I as chairman of HEW committee I won't have a problem with putting uh, whatever I need to under other business on my agenda thank you okay thank you sir any other discussion speaker Perfect. make a motion to strike mm -hmm. all the uh, budget except for IT I need to read those aloud. No, uh, just speaking with Alicia, she said all we, all we need to do is just uh, ask them to resubmit a budget with the IT only and then make the amendment on the uh, actual bill for the amount. So can we do that right now? Just make the dollar amount, I believe it is $1,136,429. Yes, sir. Speaker, make a motion to amend the amount for the IT amount only of $1,136,419. Make a motion has been made by Representative Tiger to amend the uh, bill. Change the amount from two million eight hundred seventeen thousand two hundred eighty one to one million one hundred thirty six thousand four hundred nineteen. Do I have a second? Robert has second. Seconded by Representative Hub. Discussion. Hearing none. Roll call vote on the amendment. Lucian Tiger. Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Patrick Freeman? Joseph Hicks? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. William Lowe? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry. Charles McHenry. Yes. Thomas Anyahola Osborne. Yes. Daryl Proctor. Yes. Mark Randolph. Yes. Travis Scott. Yes.
Patrick Freeman. Speaker, you have 13 in favor, zero against. 13 in favor, zero against. That motion passes. Back to the uh, main motion on the floor. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Lucian Tiger. Lucian Tiger. Yeah. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Joseph Hicks? Yes. Robert Haft? Yes. Adam Jones? Yes. William Lowe? William Lowe? Anna Marshall? Yes. Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomasini Hala Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Travis Scott? Yes. Patrick Freeman? William Lowe? Yes. Speaker, you have 13 in favor, zero against. 13 in favor, zero against, that motion passes. That concludes the order of business. The next item on the agenda is announcements. Any announcements from council? So I have a couple or a few. Business Finance and Justice Committee meeting, November 8th, 6.30. Land Natural Resources and Cultural Preservation Committee meeting, November 9th, 6.30. Health Education and Welfare Committee meeting, November 10th, 2 p.m. And just a reminder, offices will be closed November, November the 11th for Veterans Day and November 15th for Native American Day. Planning session is November, November 16th, pre-agenda regular session, November 20th. Any other announcements? Hearing none, entertain motion to adjourn. So moved. Representative McHenry made a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Marshall seconds. Seconded by Representative Anna Marshall. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. This time I'd like to ask Representative. Uh, George Deere to give the benediction, please. Thank you, Speaker. Please pray with me. Creator God, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the cooler temperatures and for the sunlight that we have this day. Father, I ask your blessings on the decisions that we make, and I ask your guidance in all that we do. And I thank you for the blessings of home and family and for all the blessings of life, Lord. Please watch over us and keep us safe until we meet again. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Representative. Okay. Meeting adjourned, 134.